Spiritual Awakening 2. My daughters, who are older teenagers, of course, are on Facebook, like, like all of us these days. And what was interesting is that I was concerned about our present society not having a sense of mythology. It's, it's something that, since I love mythology, it was um, a, a, a curiosity of mine. With things um, moving too fast, you can't create one for the uh, speed of the way things are progressing. You, it, things need to be a little bit slower in, in order to um, create a mythology. But I found that in looking at Facebook, I felt like that's exactly what they were doing. They were um, creating their own mythology on Facebook. Because if you look at the um, profiles, you have a photo which is a truly a self-portrait because they're choosing one that they feel represents themselves. And then also, in addition, uh, since I use a lot of words in my artwork anyway, they're doing a narrative by having comments written that they either believe in or have found that they find interesting and in that. So they're really creating a profile of themselves with this. It, it's, it's just uh, really interesting to me. So it was like an epiphany, and it's very much the way I work anyway. So with that said, I got with a good friend of mine, uh, Morgan, who's a uh, professional model, and um, we did a shoot, and as it turned out, the most ethereal and um, effective shots I did were the more simple headshots and the expressions. I hit her jumping, I hit her doing all kinds of things, but these were the most, most profound uh, shots that I took. And I think what uh, comes across that I'm delighted about is that it is very uh, a nebulous expression, but it's very ethereal and mystical. It has a little bit of a fairy tale, and I love using that as in the narrative element but it also describes her to a degree also, and she felt that I had captured something very special about her, which I think was the most, um, most delightful part about it.